Okay, so next, um, on this particular um, part of the model, what we want to do is examine uh, a few of the conditions that we have here. For instance, as you can see, we've got this roof that's not covering these two exterior portions of our roof. We also have a few pieces of the building that haven't been changed yet to the brick, so we want to probably go ahead and do that. So let's grab this outside wall and let's change this to the brick and metal stud, right? Which one is that? Brick on metal stud. And as we can see, it's kind of backwards, so we'll go in and we'll click on this and we will flip that around. In addition, we need to go ahead and change the graphics in view, right? By element. And so again, this is good practice, making sure that we are, there we are, okay. So we've got what we need here and we wanna go ahead and change these outside walls to the same thing. But here we are in a condition where we have what? We, we don't want to change this interior wall to that. So what would we want to do to fix that condition? If we type in SL on the keyboard for split, I can split my wall. As soon as this finishes up, I can split this wall here, right? And I can uh, go on the other side and do the same thing. I can split that wall right there. All right, and now I can change this wall, this wall, this wall, and this wall, as well as this one, to my brick on metal stud, right? Now I have to make sure, is my wall going to look right? Well, again, all those walls have to be, not all of them, but a few of them have to be flipped, right? The ones that need to be flipped. This one I think is okay. But in addition to that, all of these walls are still what? These all were walls that were changed individually. And like I said, I want you to get the practice on going in and knowing how you can adjust things individually. Now you can see by doing this by category, it would have been much easier. Now you're having to work your way what? Work your way backwards, but it's the repetition that's gonna help you in this instance. So if I do it by element, then I can see that these were all changed to a solid fill. This is something you have to know how to do, people, which is why I keep hitting you with it time after time again in this lesson. All right? So we should be okay everywhere now in that instance. Now if we go to our second level, on our second level we can partially see what? If I go to Fine and I go to uh, Hidden View, um, I can still see I have a roof there. And that's a roof now that I need to adjust. But how am I going to adjust it? Well, if I go to Edit Footprint, guess what I can do? I can just go here to the Line feature. And right off of here, you know, I can say, hmm. Or you know what I can do? I can just simply draw this line from here, right? And I can click here to here. And you know what? I'm going to let that hang off back there. I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to draw a line from here, then all the way back to here, right? And what I'm going to do in this particular instance is I'm going to take the slope off of what? I'm going to take the slope off of both of these. So I'm going to say no slope. And then I'm going to trim this to the back line there and this to the back line here. Now I'm going to hit, I'm going to check this and watch, it's going to yell at me, it's going to say these lines can't intersect each other, right? So I'm going to say I have to continue drawing. What do I need to do? Well, I need to trim this to here, and I need to trim this to here, and once I do that, now I have a roof, and if I go back to my 3D view, now I've got a roof that is what? That is barely closing over those walls. So what do I need to do to fix that? Go back to level two again, click on my outline, say edit footprint. Now I'm going to say offset and I'm going to go three feet. I'm going to offset three feet here and see how I have the copy feature turned off. I'm going to offset three feet here, offset three feet here, and three feet here. And now once I do that, I can go back to my 3D view and you can see I have what? I have some walls that aren't quite going up. So what do I need to do? Hover. I can hit 
not hover click and I hold down control and click this wall attach top base oops let's try that one more time attach top base to here and I need to do the same thing shift middle mouse to the other side and if I click here click here and I say attach top base to here now I'm okay and I have all of these items and now I have a roof on the entire building, okay? And that's kind of a, a helpful way to put that roof on there. The next thing we're going to do is apply some materials to the roof, and we're going to look at some different roof conditions um, at certain portions of the wall, okay?